Abby Steiner versus the rest, who will be the best? Which of the forthcoming rivalries do you anticipate being the most entertaining to follow in collegiate athletics? In the previous year, spectators were treated to a thrilling competition that included, among other athletes, the reigning champion of the Bowman, Kentucky's Abby Steiner, and the outstanding sprinter from LSU, Favor of Philly. Have a look at the new things that will be available in the fall. These potential competitions follow a certain pattern or formula. First, there needs to be more than just tournaments for the NCAA a championship where athletes compete against one another head-to-head. -head. The two groups have to compete against one another on multiple occasions before there can be any kind of rivalry between them. Second, the ability of the athletes should be comparable to one another. A competition between two athletes is not considered a rivalry if one of the competitors consistently comes out on top. In conclusion, this discussion focuses on potential competition on the track or field, not any underlying hostility between the athletes. Now that we've gotten that out, let's talk about some of the competition and how Abby Steiner performs against them. Abby Steiner's Achievements One of the young athletes to watch during the World Championships in Oregon is the United States' Abby Steiner, a sprinter on the rise. Steiner, a 22-year-old student at the University of Kentucky, majoring in human health sciences, made headlines worldwide on June 26, when she won her first national title with the second fastest time of the season in the 100-meter dash at the Haywood Field in Oregon, clocking just 21.77 seconds. After the show, she was offered a $2 million endorsement contract by Puma. Previous to this, she had won the 200-meter event at the NCAA, a track and field championship, in a then-record time of 21.80 seconds. Her 100-meter time of 10.92 seconds on June 9 put her in the sub-11s club. Steiner is a dedicated student who has been called a special talent by her trainer Catherine Slaven. She puts in over 40 hours of training every week to become a better athlete and meticulously dissects her previous performances. In 2021, Steiner broke into the public eye by being the fourth fastest female in the history of track and field at the University of Kentucky. That next year, she clocked in at the fifth fastest 100-meter sprint time ever recorded by a female NC double a athlete. At the Haywood Field, where Steiner ran the season's second best time a few months ago, she will be among the favorites to win the 200-meter event at the World Championships with Sherika Jackson of Jamaica, the fastest woman of the season. Abby won 16 state titles in high school and is still the record holder in the 60-meter, 200-meter, indoor and outdoor and 100-meter dashes. As a freshman, she finished fourth in the 200 meters at the Southeastern Conference Championships and first in the 60 meters at the Jim Green Invitational. She also broke a 40-year-old college record in the 300-meter dash with a time of 35.80 in the Cardinal Classic, and she won silver in the 60-meter dash at the 2021 to 2022 NC Double at Indoor Championships. Her recent prize winnings. Abby Steiner, in the year 2022, was deemed the best female track and field athlete and was awarded the Bowman Trophy. Steiner makes history as the first athlete from the Bluegrass State to take home the Bowman. Steiner won the national championship at the NCAA at level in the 200m and 4x 400m relay. In 2022, she broke four records at the NCAA and level, so let's get into the details of all these events. Due to an Achilles injury, Abby Steiner had to sit out the rest of the 2021 season, but she returned strongly following year. The Louisville Cardinal Classic marked the beginning of the indoor season and was Steiner's first competition following the injury. Steiner only participated in the 300-meter dash. Steiner set a new collegiate record with a time of 35 seconds and 80 hundredths of a second over a distance of 1.5 laps. Running in her comeback to action is a tremendous achievement for anybody, but is especially so for Steiner. The 200-meter indoor record that Abby Steiner and Gabby Thomas of Harvard now hold is 22.38 seconds. Steiner claimed victory without competition at the Tiger Paw Invitational hosted by Clemson University. She raced the track at an incredible rate, clocking in at a time of 22.37 seconds to set a new world record. Abby Steiner ran an incredible 22.09 seconds in the 200 meters in the indoor SEC championships, shattering her previous record. The score was a new indoor best in the United States. 
The 2022 Division I Outdoor Championships were a hectic weekend for Abby Steiner. She participated in the 100 and 200 meter individual races and the 4x100 and 4x400 meter relays. That's seven total races over three days if you consider the semis. During the 100 meter dash, Steiner came in third at 11.08. Her team, Kentucky, placed second in the 4x100 meter relay. Steiner, though, was at her best in the 200 meter dash. Steiner won the NCAA championship with a time of 21.80 seconds. Steiner's time was the fastest ever by a female college athlete and the eighth fastest in US history. After that, Steiner participated in the last event of the competition, the 4x400 meter relay. They crossed the line in three minutes, 22.55 seconds, the fourth fastest time in college history and good enough for first place. Here are how the competitors are performing. The next indoor and outdoor seasons are set to be exciting because the Southeastern Conference is home to three of the top five finest female straight-line herders in the country. The other two are Paula Salmon of North Carolina a and T and Jasmine Jones of Southern California, Grace Stark of Florida, Elia Armstrong of LSU, and Masai Russell of Kentucky all qualified for the finals of the 60-meter and 100-meter hurdles competitions in 2022. Stark of Florida was the only one of the three to miss the final of the 100-meter hurdles due to injury. Stark and Armstrong are the reigning champions for indoor and outdoor competitions. This triad is of the highest caliber. All of them can win a national championship if they are allowed to do so. Fortunately for those who enjoy track and field, they will get the chance to watch all of these athletes participate in multiple events before a trophy is at stake. As a direct consequence of Abby Steiner's decision to pursue a career in a different sector, Favor Ophili will face fresh opposition in the most important collegiate track and field tournament in 2023. Ophili has the most formidable competition this year from Kennedy Flannel, a player who recently joined the Florida Gators. Ophelie is still the crowd favorite going into 2023, even after reaching new standards in the previous year, 2022. Flannel moved to Florida even though she finished third in the final of the 200-meter outdoor race and sixth in the final of the 200-meter indoor race in Texas. Because Flannel and Ophelie are now participating in institutions that are members of the Southeastern Conference, they will face off against one another in competitions other than the championship tournaments. At the 2022 division, I Cross Country Championships, Caitlin Tooby and Parker Valby ran exceptionally well, with the former finishing in the first place and the latter in second place. We hope this is not the final time we watch a race between the two. After finishing first and second place at the 2022 Division I Outdoor Championships, Tooby and Valby will likely run the 5,000 meters during the outdoor season. When competing in the same event during the indoor season, it's more of a coin toss as to whether or not they will, but if they do, the races will be intensely competitive. Despite this, during the outdoor season of 2023, NC State and Florida are scheduled to compete against one another a total of three times in shared meets before the NCAA Championships. Before the highly anticipated championship race, viewers should watch the Tuhi Valby competition instead. All of Abby's opponents are constantly trying to improve themselves to outdo her in every way possible. Abby is currently performing at a peak fitness level, allowing her to steal the show and garner everyone's attention. Despite this, everyone has been performing admirably and emerging from the competition as a fitter athlete. It will be very interesting to see how she performs in the future when her competitors are getting ready to engage in a fierce battle with her. So now we have reached the end of our today's video. We hope you found the video fun and enjoyable as you learn more about the achievements of top athletes. Stay tuned to get more updates about these star performers and to learn more about their journey. Please don't hesitate to like, follow or comment on any of the posts you see here. If you want to be notified whenever we add new content to our channel, you will need to subscribe to it.